I was just using the notes of the pentatonic scale there, the minor pentatonic, E, G, A, B, D, and top E. It's a very, very easy scale to use, and it's one of the most useful tools in improvisation and composition. If you can get that scale embedded in your students' memories as comfortable as possible, so it's really under their fingers on whatever instrument, you can use that as a really great tool and building block to not only do improvisation, but also do composition. Lots of fantastic compositions have just been done only using that scale. Get it under their fingers and into their brains and they'll really enjoy what they do. It's really important when getting students to improvise to start off with really simple ideas. Build their confidence slowly and that way over a long period of time they can become confident and great improvisers. Sometimes I don't even use the word improvisation because that can really put people off. One of the exercises I like to start with is copying back just using one note. I'm going to use an E, I'll play a few notes and I'll show you how I do this copying back. So. After I've done it and the students copy back successfully, I get them to make up a little pattern and I copy back. We might do this a few times to build their confidence. I then extend that up to a few more notes. So I might use the next note up in the pentatonic scale. That's a G. The first note's an E, the second one's a G. Here's how that sounds. And so on. After a few weeks, you can introduce more notes. Eventually, they'll be playing the whole pentatonic scale improvising and copying back and making up their own motifs and feeling really confident about it. 